Hello and welcome to the VBA Jetpack course by Trump Excel. In this video, you will learn how to run a macro when you click on a cell. We will take an example of how to update charts with a single cell click. So let's get started. Here I have a chart with revenue numbers for all these years. And here I have four metrics and see what happens when I click on any of these metrics. So as of now revenue is selected but when I go to gross profit and I click on it you can see that this chart gets updated with the gross profit numbers for these years if I select net profit then the chart gets updated for net profit and you can do it for all these four metrics another thing that happens is when I click on this cell this cell gets highlighted in an orange color which is a simple conditional formatting thing so let's first see how this happens. Let's first go to the data source for this chart. So I have this tab here, data. I go to the data tab and you can see as of now it says net profit. Now what happens is when I click here, I let's say I click on revenue, then that text gets entered here, that text where uh, I have selected. So if I've clicked on, so let's say revenue, then the text in that cell gets entered here and then this is the formula match formula that would find the position of revenue in this array so if I press F2 it's a match formula the lookup value is F2 this is the entire array and I'm looking for an exact match so this gives one if I come back here and I click on gross profit and I go back you can see this gives two and based on this number then I've extracted the data for uh, whatever text string is entered here so in this case it's cross profit so I have the data for gross profit here this is the entire array b3 to e7 and then I have used rows e3s to e3 and when it goes down it becomes e3s to e4 and e3s to e5 which means that here it's 1 and then it becomes 2 and 3 and 4 as it goes down and then the column number is this which is 2 now you can directly use the match formula with an index as well I just created it separately because it's easier to show now what is happening is as soon as I click on let's say employees this number changes to 4 and it extracts all the data for employees now let's go to the VB editor and see how to do this so I would press alt F11 and this opens the VB editor I already have the code in here if you're starting from scratch then what you need to do is you need to double click on the sheet where you want this event to take place and this this is a selection change event which means that if you click somewhere then this code gets triggered so you first have to double click on this sheet as soon as you double click you would have the code window for that particular worksheet and there you would enter uh, the entire code what you need to do is simply come here select worksheet and then when you select worksheet you select the appropriate event in this case the event is selection change and if you go through this line it says private sub worksheet underscore selection change by val target as range which means that whenever you click on a cell it would return a range object it is a range which means that if I click on any of the cells here then that is a range here and I would use target as a range object so what I do is the first thing I put on error resume next in case there is an error then it would move on to the next line and then I declare a variable which is metric and metric as string so this is the variable that would hold these text values which could either be revenue or gross profit and then I initialize it I say metric is equal to target dot value so if I click anywhere if I click on b2 then metric value becomes revenue if I click on let's say b14 metric value becomes blank cell uh, or empty string and when I click on here b4 it becomes gross profit now what we have used is once we have the value for metric we simply used a select case loop and we say select case metric if this case is revenue which means that if the value of metric is revenue go to worksheets data dot range f2 and make that value equal to revenue so let's go back here what it does is if I select this the metric value becomes revenue it goes back to this data worksheet and it enters this text string here revenue and that's it that's all what this is doing I have four case statements because I have four uh, metrics there and then I end the select case statement and then I end the sub and that's it that's all what I do and now you have an awesome 
technique here where you can single you can click on any of these cells and then the chart gets updated now this technique is not limited to charts you can do a lot of things if you click here you can have the pictures updated you can have the values updated you can have an entire dashboard updated using this so you can create this easily using the select case statement and then you can wow your boss or your co-workers by using this technique now the last thing that I want to show you here is a simple conditional formatting technique where you can see that as soon as you select something it gets highlighted in an orange color and a simple thing that happens here is the conditional formatting formula simple formula is B2 dollar B2 is equal to data dollar F dollar 2 which means that this value is equal to this value if that is the case color it in that given uh, format otherwise leave it out and that's it that's all what is happening here and uh, now it's not necessary that you have to click on a cell and there is an amazing technique where you can simply hover over a cell and this chart would get updated and that is what is called as the roller mouse effect and we would see this technique in one of the separate videos that I have created so that's it in this video I hope you like this video thank you and have a nice day